Today I'm counting down my top 10 favorite as seen on TV products for 2017, so let's get started. First up, a couple of disclaimers before I start. Number one, my criteria for making this list is the product had to advertise in 2017 and I had to review it in 2017. Some of these products have been around for a few years, but it made my list because that's when I first reviewed it. Disclaimer number two, some products are clearly not in the ASEAN TV genre. I didn't include some of those in the list, but I'll throw them in at the end as honorable mentions. Disclaimer number three, I have no affiliation with any of these products, but I'll include links in the description below if you want to purchase any of them. So without further delay, here's the top 10. All right, number 10 on my countdown is the red copper mug. Now, why am I sitting in a car for this? Because this is where I primarily use the red copper mug, and that's one of the reasons that I like it, and it made my list, is because I like some of the other tumblers that are kind of fat. This one is kind of more streamlined. It's smaller, but I like that it's smaller. And it has the no-tip bottom, and it also has the no-spill lid. I just think that it's well-made. It really suits my needs. Some people like the bigger tumblers, and I get that. But for my particular needs, the red copper mug fits the bill. I did this one back in January of 17, and here are a few clips from that review. I mean, so far, it, it looks pretty leak-proof to me. All right, number nine on my list is the Microtouch Solo. This is the rechargeable razor that allows you trim, edge, and shave. I did that in August of 17, and here's a look back at that review. Trimming, you have to go down with the, uh, with the hair. Definitely cuts through the hair very nicely. I think that the Microtouch Solo is a solid, as seen on TV version of this type of product. It may not be quite as good. It was one of my honorable mentions, so look for that later. But I think it does a pretty good job. Next up on my countdown is the Bell & Howell light bar. Now, two caveats. Number one, the Bell & Howell name is simply licensed by as on TV marketers. And number two, the indicator light doesn't really shut off when you're charging it. But those two things aside, I've actually found a lot of uses for it. It's kind of a nice all-purpose light. Here's a few clips from my review back from July. It definitely illuminates a much wider area than the other two. atomic beam headlight. Now, it didn't pass some of my early durability tests, but over time, I've really come to like having a headlight that will move wherever your head looks, and both your hands are free, so it's really been useful to me. I really like the atomic beam headlight. Here's some clips from my original review. Freeze! Freeze, criminal! Freeze! Like if you're focused in on something, or a wider angle. That's kind of nice. I like that feature. Number six on my list is Copper Fit Balance, the orthotic insoles advertised on television. I had them in my shoes for about four or five months, and I found that they worked really well. In fact, I haven't been able to find another pair of insoles that work quite as well for me. So for me, these definitely belong on my list. Here's a few highlights from my original Copper Fit Balance review. Trying out the Copper Fit Balance. I think it does a pretty good job. There are other insoles out there that probably will do just as well, but if you bought Copper Fit Balance, I think you'll probably like it. The material isn't too hard or too soft. I'm out here with Bailey for my next product. Now this product is not necessarily a pet product, but it has a lot to do with Bailey, the Hurricane Fur Wizard. Now in some ways, this is not any different than a regular lint brush, but the magic to me is in the base, which actually self-cleans it off so you can keep going. Now if I give Bailey a hug here, she's gonna get some pet hair on my shirt, and I'll show you how it works. Bailey, come here. Come here. Come here, good girl, good girl. Yes, you are, that's a good girl. Yes, you are. Okay, that's what I got here. See, she's proud of her work, right, Bailey? Okay. 
No, no, don't, don't eat the base. Okay. Hold on, Bailey. Hold on, Bailey. Hold on, Bailey. Hang on, hang on, Bailey. 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 No. There we go. Good as new. So to me, the Fur Wizard is deserving of a place on my list for the best of 2017. And here's a clip from my original Fur Wizard review. Come here. Come here. Come here. Sit. Sit. Come here, good girl. All right, let's see the damage here. Oh, yeah. Look at all that pet hair already. Ooh. I think the fur wizard is passing my test. Next up, number four on the list is the Easy Edge Hard Floor Sweeper. Now, as you can see, I've got three of them. I've got the Easy Edge, the Hurricane Spin Broom, and the Fuller Roto Sweep. It's been my opinion that the Easy Edge, it has the best construction, it's the quietest, and it's the cheapest. So let's take a look back at my review from March of the Easy Edge Sweeper. Dead roach. Gone. Fuzz. Gone. Kitty litter gone. Number three is the Veggie Bullet. This is the most expensive item on this list. It comes in number three in my countdown and I found that it holds up well and it pretty much lives up to the advertising. And here's a few clips of how that review went. Check that out. That's actually kind of cool. Number two on my countdown is the Power Air Fryer Oven. Now this is one of my more recent reviews I did only on November 1st of this year. And the more I use it, the more I like it. It's kind of a hybrid mini oven and air fryer. And here's a clip of how that review went. Oh, they're crisp. Oh, these feel like croutons to me. Okay, it's been 40 minutes. I'm gonna take all three racks out and see how they look. Oh no, oh no. Yay! Well, this isn't exactly where I thought I would end up for my top pick for 2017, but here I am, kicking back in my bed. By the way, that's Miracle Bamboo Pillow. Did not make my list, but I still use it to prop myself up when I'm reading in bed. Speaking of reading in bed, when I need to reach for my reading glasses, I reach for my phone. And on the back of my phone is Thin Optics, my pick for the best product of 2017. The most common question I get asked when I talk to people about this YouTube channel is, what's your favorite product? And usually I answer by pulling my phone out and pulling these out, and I get the same reaction every time, which is kind of a surprised, impressed, wow. For those of you who wear reading glasses, you know what a pain it is to carry reading glasses with you. So I'm gonna kick back and read my Brian Wilson biography with my thin optics on, my pick for the best product of 2017. Oh, you're still here. Well, while you're still here, how about a few honorable mentions of products that aren't on the list, but definitely worth mentioning. Check out these honorable mentions. As I mentioned earlier, I've got some honorable mentions, most notably the Philips One Blade. This is a rechargeable razor, a lot like the Microtouch Solo, which placed number nine on my list. I definitely wouldn't call this an as seen on TV product, which is why it didn't make my list. I would probably score it high on the list if it did qualify, but it's a very solid razor and it can be used wet or dry, unlike the Microtouch Solo. So I think the Philips One Blade is a very honorable mention. Another honorable mention in the shaving category is the Fusion 5 Pro Shield Power. I did this in a review over the summer and it's become my go-to razor ever since then. It's the best razor that I have in this class. The only problem is that the refills are kind of expensive, but they also last a long time, so it kind of offsets the cost. Definitely not an as on TV product, but definitely worth mentioning.
I definitely noticed the difference in the flex head and how it moves with the contour of my face. All right, this is gonna be an honorable mention. It would not make my top 10 list, but I think it makes Bailey's top 10 list. Right, Bailey? This is the Wobble Wag Giggle. Of all the toys that, we've, that I've gotten for her, this is the one she continues to play with. Again, this is an honorable mention, but let's take a look back at my review of Wobble Wag Giggle. Oh yeah, she likes this. The Shark Ion Flex is another honorable mention. Now there's two reasons that it didn't make my list. Number one, it's a shark product, not really in the As Seen on TV category per se, although there are infomercials running for it. The other thing is that it's really new to me. I've only been using it for a little over a week, so I don't know if I really have enough evaluation time for this to make the list, but either way, I think the Shark Ion Flex, a little expensive, but when you do have one, I think you'll really like it. Here's a clip from my Shark Ion Flex review. Oh, that did very nice. That's pretty awesome. Now you can use this to get some of the tougher hair off like that. All right, so that's my top 10 as seen on TV products for 2017. Now, obviously such a list is subjective. In fact, my son Brandon has helped me out behind the scenes on these products. He has his own idea of what the best product for 2017 is. Brandon, what do you think? I'm gonna give it to Hot Hands. Hot Hands. Now, Hot Hands is one that I particularly didn't like. In fact, it's probably going to be on my worst of list, which is gonna come out in a week or two. So stay tuned for that. So. Let me know in the comments below what you think the best and worst As Seen on TV products for 2017 are. And stay tuned for more As Seen on TV product reviews from me, James White, with Freakin' Reviews.